Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Local attorney Bob Bussey joins me this morning to tell us more about his new book, which is out tomorrow. Bob, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Of uh, course. And congratulations on writing a book. Tell us all about it. Well, uh, I don't know what part you want to know. Uh, just the book or the publishing experience? What would you like? All of it. The publishing experience. Uh, for writers, there are thousands of writers out there, tens of thousands of writers. There are thousands of publishers. And so you're submitting your book idea to these publishers. It's an inquiry letter that you initially send out. And normally you get a rejection. Uh, and as a writer, as a potential writer, author, you have to get used to that. So you send it out and you send it out and you send it out probably 10, 20 times until you get a bite. <laughs> and then you're ecstatic. And uh, then you send them more material and they look it over. It goes through an editing process that may take a couple of years to, to do the editing and you finally come up with a final product that you, that you uh, all agree upon and, and, and can pr produce. This particular book, it's called Walk With Me. It's a series of poems, um, which poetry is, is not a very well accepted, and that, that's probably the wrong word, is not read very much today. Uh, I don't know how you were growing up, but uh, when I grew up in high school, they forced us to read some of Shakespeare's poems, Byron's poems, and you didn't understand them. Right. This book is not that way. Uh, I use a modern language, everyday language, that I think anyone reading uh, one of the poems can go ahead and say, yeah, uh, that's an experience I've had before, too. So the, the book is divided into four different sections. The first section is called Of Children, so it's poems about children, uh, maybe through a child's eyes, uh, different aspects of, of childhood. The second section is called Of Humor. So those are humorous poems. A as an attorney, we play with words all the time, where we're thinking in words, we're writing in words, and, and then we're speaking in words a as attorneys. So I take some of that background and, and throw it into the Of uh, Humor. Uh, poetry. The next section is your typical poetry section. It's of love and it's all different aspects uh, from my point of view, from other points of view. Uh, I write one uh, from my sister's point of view, my younger sister, uh, that, that's called Compassion and it's all about her compassion that she was showing to people as she was being treated uh, with leukemia. Oh, so, wow. And it, it, that's a different and sensitive subject. The last section is called Of Spirit, uh, and that can be pretty broad. Uh, it can be political or non-political. It can be uh, religious or not religious. Uh, all different aspects that would perhaps go, go into the spirit idea. So that, that's the book. It's uh, well, about 200 pages <laughs> of, of written word, and uh, I like it. Uh, other people. I had, I actually had two people that I call my readers, uh, my sister Marilyn and then an old yoga teacher from this area, Maria Olegis. And they read all the poems that I write and then they give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or no comment and, and, and then I run with it from there. They're mentioned in the book. Uh, they were very instrumental along with my wife and my kids and, and who gave me the, the freedom and the space to go ahead and sit around and uh, not do honeydews <laughs> and, and write instead, you know? Right, right. So, now, how long have you been writing poetry? Uh, I didn't start out writing poetry. I started out writing children's books. Uh, as I was getting closer to retirement age, uh, I decided to go back to college, took a course in writing children's books, and started, and I've actually got a series of six uh, children's books that have all been rejected multiple times <laughs> that aren't published <laughs> yet. And during that process, I started to put down some thoughts uh, in poetry form. Normally, back then, uh, they were maybe four or five lines. 
uh, through bicycling, and I'm an avid cyclist. I started to write poetry about cycling. I've got one called Freedom that is uh, about a different aspect of freedom from the cyclist point of view. That was one of my first longer ones. It was probably a page long, uh, 20 stanzas, maybe 25, something of that nature, and went from there. That was uh, five, six years ago, something around there. Wow. You know, so it's, I, I haven't been a poet. Some, some people are, when they get to eight or nine years old, they just grasp it and, and run with it. It's like some people knowing what they want to do the rest of their lives early on. Uh, I was never that way. <laughs> uh, and, and like I said, poetry to me was something you didn't want to read when growing up. Uh, that's changed. Uh, so. Would you have any advice for anyone who's watching who maybe is interested in publishing a book or likes to write poetry to share with people? Do you have any words of encouragement? You just keep writing. Keep writing uh, as much as you can. Uh, come up with crazy ideas and, and keep writing. If you have a theme, stick with that theme. Uh, join an organization like uh, with the children's books. I'm a member of the Acadiana Children's Book Writers Association. We meet once a month. There are about uh, 20, 25 of us and we exchange ideas on, on what's going on with our books and, and how we might improve it. We'll read portions of the books to each other and then the other members will comment uh, on that and make suggestions. So it, it's, you have to have stick to itness. You really do. Uh, not an easy process. Anyone who's had a book published, you go and ask them and they'll tell you, unless you're a sports figure or a politician, and most of those people have ghost writers. The other people that are out there doing the actual writing for themselves, it's a slog. You know, you are, you've got to be in it and you've got to be concentrated in, in what you're doing. Well, we are looking forward to uh, reading Walk With Me, which is out on Amazon tomorrow. Bob, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. We appreciate you. I thank you for giving me this chance. Of course. We'll be right back. More Good Day Sun Law right after this break.